guys welcome back to my channel so I have not been on YouTube for the longest time but lately I've kind of been inspired to make a what's in my bag video and I've been watching a lot of them lately I don't know I kind of go through phases like sometimes I'll watch mukbangs in the middle of the night and that's the worst idea because you get so hungry or like you are so hungry in the middle of the night that you start watching it and it's like video after video and then it's 2 a.m. and then you're hungry and it's late and you have to be at work in the morning but lately it's not mukbangs I've been watching what's in my bag videos and I don't know what it is about these videos but so intrigued interested in what's in people's bags and I've learned a lot from these videos actually that I like went out and got some stuff from Target because I was like hey I need to have that in my bag too so with that being Said, I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag on my speedy 30 and it's like one of my favorite bags right now I currently have two I like this one I switched from this one and to my um it's actually a toiletry 26 but I made it into a bag which I will talk about in another video but this video is gonna be what's in my bag speedy 30 so, I don't know about you, but I feel like the longer you have this bag, the more beautiful it gets because it kind of has patina a little bit. I've had this since November of last year, so it hasn't been a year yet, but it's already like looking so perfect. Like, I take care of this bag so much. I love it. It's my favorite, and I feel like it looks better than when I first just got it because of the patina. When you first just get a Louis Vuitton bag, I feel like it just looks so of fade because of the white handles well not white the lighter color handles and you know all like the fake bags out there they don't patina well the really good quality ones do patina i believe but the real fake fake where it has like the red lining here they don't patina at all i don't think so it looks old but then the handles don't patina so i'm like yeah that's questionable but this has patina so beautifully and a lot of people probably won't agree with me. I have a little bit of water spots on probably on like this one if you can see that. There's some water spots there but that's like character. You know it's like the relationship with you and your bag and that's like what your bag's been through and you've been through with it. So I cherish those little characters. I mean I don't want it everywhere but I do appreciate that I have some watermarks on it, like that kind of has a little watermark too, but it doesn't bother me at all, like some people want it perfect, but it's like, I don't know, a bag is meant to be used, but I mean, yeah, I'm going to take care of this, but for now, that's dirt I need to clean off, but it's not bad. So the leather is still like shiny and so beautiful, and a backstory, I've had three of these bags so I bought a um, speedy 40 that was from 1986 which is my birthday and I really 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 wanted it but it was speedy 40 and it was huge it was basically kind of like a weekend bag and I don't know why I did it but I sold it and got a speedy 30 so the other speedy 30 that I got I decided to buy it pre um, love too. Somewhere on this side, there's like a huge. It's kind of like when you spill water in your pants, and you know there's discoloration. But it was on the leather, and it kind of looked like it was oil. Maybe they spill oil or just melt chapstick or something. I don't know, but you couldn't really tell. But to me, you could tell, and it was like bothering me. But it was in such great condition. I think it was like nine years old. It was patina beautifully. There's like barely any marks. There wasn't even any like hairline scratches. Barely, like it was really beautiful. And the canvas was so thick. I mean, I think it was thicker than mine, honestly. And this was made, I don't know, I'm really bad at um, the codes or whatever. I don't know when this was made, but I can tell you. The, it says SD4118 and I don't know when that was made if somebody can tell me please tell me down below and um, 
I think the canvas or the, my second one was thicker than this. So that, I'm kind of bummed about that because the bags now, they're like made with such, I don't know, we feel like the, the quality is like a lot, it's thin. And a lot of people are having cracked like issues which after owning a bag for only like two or three years i don't think i think that's a problem because you know you're spending a lot of money in these bags and they should last you like a long time so i've known um i know somebody who's owned a speedy and it's still like in perfect condition if you take care of it it could totally last you for years and like pass it down to your daughter or something but i got this for my anniversary and I love it because oh, it's just like my favorite bag. So let's just get started on what's actually in my bag, right? So the first thing I'm gonna just let you look at it. It does have a little organizer, which is really light and I can link it down below. I got it from Amazon. Which I really like it. Okay, it's a mess. Okay, I know. Don't judge. But it is really, really um, light. The organizer. I don't like if the bag is like super heavy because it's not a bandolier. It's a just the regular speedy. So you would have to like carry it right here or just like this. And so for me, this is perfect. I do. I am thinking of getting the speedy twenty five in Azure just because it would be smaller i mean this bag is perfect i think for me and my frame but if i were to get the azure i would probably get the bandolier so i can use it as a crossbody like to go shopping or something so you have all your hands free hands because you know when you go shopping you want to be able to touch everything and carrying this with everything in it is a little bit too heavy so this would be like a perfect bag, kind of, to me it's not an everyday bag basically what I'm saying. It is like, let's go to dinner type of bag where like when you get somewhere you can put it down because I can't see myself carrying this everywhere I go in the mall. Like I would be exhausted and my hands would be hurting because it is, it does get heavy and it's big enough that you can put a lot of stuff in it which tends to get heavier. So to me, I think this is like a good like day night bag. Um, and then I use my Toilet Shoe 26 because I added a chain to it to go out shopping or something. So, so yeah, I do have an organizer in here. But even with an organizer, I feel like it's typical for a girl to have, like, a messy handbag. Is that just me? I don't know. But my bags are always like, so embarrassing. And I have this habit of never putting my card back into my wallet which is a really bad idea because every time it's like my turn to pay I'm like panicking because I already know my card is not in my wallet but thank you for Apple Pay right? Apple Pay is the bomb because you don't need your cards but anyway so okay so the first thing I'm going to get out is what is in the zipper compartment which I really don't put anything in it because I don't want it to weigh it down and then kind of ruin the handle and the thing or like it was I don't know maybe that's just me but I never put anything in the zipper pocket I only have the little bag that it comes with because I leave my like this thing textile I don't know and also the key to the lock so I have really I don't lose it so I just stick this in the zipper thing and then I also have this just in case and this is always with my cell phone just in case I'm like in someone's car and then we need music and then I'm going to ignore these because they don't have an iPhone I don't know but anyways I have those and then I have my um ear pods which I always carry with me and this bothers me because it's so dirty like you constantly always have to clean it uh, I can't wait till the black one comes out because I may just, you know, trade them in or something. But this is something I always bring with me. The one thing that sucks though is when you um, go to the airport and you get on the plane and then you realize you don't have like earphones and you want to watch a movie on the plane and then you can't. So you have to ask like the flight attendant for earphones, you know, but they're not as comfortable. 
But anyways, I carry these with me. I also have my key badge in my um, Walla Walla lanyard. I represent this proudly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I carry my key, which people always ask me where I got, I like get these little, um, I don't know, these little rubber covers for, but I get them from Amazon, and I love it. What is that? Where? Sorry. And then I just have my um, key clay, which I put, you know, my everyday things that I need. If I go to the store and I need to leave this bag in the car or something, I just pull this out. And it has my license, my credit cards that I always use, and then my insurance card and all that stuff. Um, but to be honest with you, I'm not going to lie, I barely leave this bag in my car, just in case. You don't want to get it stolen, right? I also carry my wallet. This is just Tory Burch wallet, and this has, like, my other stuff. Bandages. Disney bandages. Um, a bunch of gift cards and maybe coins. I don't know. This is how messy I am. I don't even put stuff in, like the pockets for the cards but yes and I have my Ray-Bans these are the Club Masters and they're very oops they're very dirty because I have not put these on lately but they look like that <laughs> um I've been wearing contacts lately and these are prescriptions so that's why I haven't been wearing these I need just like regular sunglasses but I bring them just in case. And then I have my Chloe perfume, which is probably one of my favorite perfumes ever. These are very, this is very expensive. So I just use a little bit of it for like very, very special occasions. It's not like something that I grab every day just because it is kind of pricey, but I don't know what the cap to this is. And there should be like a little bow here, but if you haven't smelled this, go smell it. Ulta's having 20% off prestige and fragrance items right now, by the way. Also, I carry business cards, some mints, and then I just have shout wipe and go these are just for stains you never know i have more bandages disney bandages um my random insurance card so i have a color pop lip gloss in the color deeper and then i have a honeycomb bite me lipstick one of my favorites I have a Target gift card, a Bath and Body Works sale. My annual sale is happening right now. This is a 10 off 40 coupon. I need to go. Two of my favorite pens in a blue, oh my gosh, I'm a mess, in a blue and black ink. These are my favorite from the dollar store best gel pens ever. I have some Texas Two Steps lottery tickets. Praying I win so I can get more of these bags. No, I'm kidding. Um, I have my favorite Sephora mirror. I probably look like a hot mess right now, but it's okay. I have another pen, some more bandages, Okay. Here's the bow <laughs> for my um, Chloe perfume. So this would be supposed to go in here. So what's up with that? And then a hand lotion, um, Hello Beautiful. 
I always have hand lotion in here because every time I wash my hands, which I do constantly because I work at I work at a homeless shelter, so I love to wash my hands and I don't like dry hands, so I always make sure I have a lotion and Vaseline because this is like the only chapstick that I'm not allergic to. Usually I get a reaction when I use other chapsticks, but this one's the best with cocoa butter. And I have a makeup brush just in case, you know, sometimes in the morning you're in a hurry and then you forget to blend. So you get to work and you're like, what the heck is this line on your face? So you always have to have this to like blend, blend, blend. And lastly, what are all these? Oh, okay. Two things that I cannot not have in my bag. Well, maybe three. Lotion. Um, my... Vaseline and floss or toothpaste or something. Every time I eat, I have to floss. I can't take it. But I have all these. Is that weird? I don't know. But I like to have them. And then I just give them out. Like, if I'm going out with friends. I let you suck it go. <laughs> and then I also have glasses cleaner another one of these which I didn't know I had and then I think that's it so if you want to see where I got my um, organizer from this is from Amazon and I can link down below like exactly what store but this is for grower and it looks like that and it has like the little herring thing which is cool because I can use this on my huge um, Tory Burch tote too. I just pull it out. But it has like so many compartments. It has like one, two, this is like for a water bottle, three, four, another little thing here, two here. Um, one, two, three, four, five here on this side, which is cool. And it's seriously so light, so it doesn't like add any extra weight to your bag. So again, Sometimes I leave that and sometimes I do kind of like the little sag here that other people don't like. I like it. I think it's cute sometimes. It kind of like just depends how you want to look that day. But if I want to look kind of like, you know, like, oh, I didn't try. I just woke up. No, I'm kidding. But um, I don't usually use that. But sometimes I do want to have just like a lot of stuff. But I don't mind the little sag. But anyways this is my video like i said i wanted to be i wanted to do this like in a vlog style video so it's not like so formal and perfect and i'm really glad i did that because like i said it's hard to talk to the camera and talk to yourself basically and um but i did want to share it though and i hope you enjoy this video just like i enjoy watching what's in people's bags if you do enjoy this video i will do um, more. I Like I said, I have a toiletry 26, which is just like a makeup bag that I made into a bag that I literally use every day because it's so convenient. It also has an organizer and then I just made like two holes in it and then I attached a yellow, I mean a gold, um, a gold chain, like a heavy chain that I got from Amazon for $10, but it's like heavy. It's like good quality heavy chain. And um, because the Louis Vuitton chains, they're like going pre-love for like $250 and I'm like, it's mm, a lot of money. So it works and I literally use that bag every single day. But what else do I have to say about this bag? If I recommend this bag, I do recommend this bag because I feel like it's timeless. You're going to get like such a good use out of this. Even if you bought yours pre-love, which there's a Facebook community. That you can buy your Louis Vuitton bags pre-loved and the same bags are like going for $600 very very good quality and oh look what I found <laughs> very good quality and as long as you take care of your bags honestly I think these bags will last a long time also if something goes wrong with your bag like if you have a I don't know, if something happens to your bag, just take it to Louis Vuitton and they can help you out. They'll either refund you 
or try to fix it at least. So that's kind of what I like about Louis Vuitton too. So this is my little bag and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks so much. Bye.